Hello everyone. How are you all? Uh, now I hope you all are able to manage your studies without uh, textbooks, without teachers, without classrooms. Um, I know that time is making us more perfect and it is teaching us to, to adjust uh, with what we have, clear what we have. So keep trying, keep trying, everything will be okay at the end. Okay, so today we have to start great circle and the small circle, okay. After that, there are few uh, numericals that we will do, okay. So in that way, we will be able to complete today the second chapter. Today we have to start the last topic of this chapter that is the great and small circle. First, we will see the definition of it. A great circle is a circle that is drawn on the surface of a sphere such, like, uh, such as the earth that has a radius equal to the radius of the sphere. It means the radius of a great circle and the radius of that particular sphere should be equal and same time. Same time uh, their center also should be the same. Now example of great circle in latitudes if we see the equator is the only latitude that is a great circle. How we can say that the great circle that is equator is dividing the earth into two equal part because it passes through the center of the earth. Clear? So this is the, uh, this is the way we can prove it that equator is a great circle. And if we talk about uh, uh, longitude, all the long longitudes, all the longitudes are, uh, are the example of a great circle. Why? Because the eastern and western hemisphere, if we will combine it, it become a complete circle and each circle divide the earth into two equal parts. And the circle which, uh, which uh, don't pass through the center of the earth are called as a small circle. Clear? Because that for example, if we talk about this circle, this cannot divide the earth into two equal parts because it is not passing through the center of the earth. So this, this latitude will be called as a small circle. And arc, arc of a great circle used to be considered as the shortest route between two points on a sphere. Okay, so time question comes, what are the characteristics of great circle? So the first one is a great circle is a theoretically circle formed by the intersection of the earth's surface. And it is an imaginary plane that passes through the center of the earth and divide into two equal parts. Right? Next. All the circle passes through or touch the center of the circle. Clear? Next one is infinite number of circle that touches the two opposite end of the sphere can be drawn on the sphere. So as many as circle can be drawn on the sphere but the condition is all the circles should pass through the center of the earth. And one more thing that excludes all the uh, latitude except the equator. All the parallels of latitudes are the example of small circle. Now we have to see ki what is the use of great circle. Okay. Mainly the great circle is used by the navigators. Navigators are, uh, are using these great circle to find out the shortest distance between any two point on the earth. Right? It is the arc. Arc of the great circle. And a great circle route is the shortest distance between two places on the earth lies on the arc of a great circle. Clear? So in this arc, this arc used to be considered as the shortest distance between these two places. If they have navigator has to travel, they are using these route because it used to be shortest and in that they can save their fuel, their time, etc. Generally, the great circle are used by the meteorologist to determine the climate and the weather condition in a region. As we have already studied that all the watches of the world are set according to the prime meridian. Either they are ahead or behind the prime meridian. 
So, uh, there are some numericals to calculate the time of different longitude that we are going to learn today. The first two question has some differences. Now, just see in the first two question, there is two city, Montreal and India. Their longitude is given. Uh, in India, the time is 5.30 and we have to find out the time of Montreal. But what is there? Both the city, Montreal and India is in two different hemisphere. Montreal is in the western hemisphere and India is, the, is, is in the uh, eastern hemisphere. If you see the second question in that city A and city B. Uh, but both the cities are situated at the eastern hemisphere. That is the difference. So in that both, uh, both the cities uh, are situated in two different hemisphere. But uh, in the second question, the, uh, both the cities are situated in the same hemisphere. So there will be changes while we calculate the time. Okay, so first we will just see the first question, how to solve it. So to, this, to solve the question, questions, we have to follow these three, uh, three uh, steps. Okay, in the first step, what we have to do, first we have to find it out the total number of longitudes between two cities. In the second step, we have to find it out the total time difference between the two cities. Third one, we have to find it out the time difference whether is ahead or behind. So these are the main three, uh, three steps which we have to follow. In the question, we have seen that Montreal and India, both uh, places are situated in two different longitude. Clear? Sorry. Two different hemisphere. If they are situated in two different hemisphere, what we will do? We will add both the longitudes. Okay. What we will do? We will add both the longitudes. When we will add? If the cities are in two different hemisphere. So just see here, we have added and we got 156 and half degree. Clear? So this is the total number of longitudes between two cities. Now step number two. In this, we, what we have to do, we have to find it out the time difference between these two cities. So how we will get it? We know that the time difference between two longitudes are four minutes. If one longitude to another longitude, if we are crossing, we need four minutes. So time difference is four minutes. So 156 and half longitude multiplied by four give us the answer. Okay, what is the time difference between these two cities? Okay, so we got it 626 minutes. After that, we will convert into hours and minutes. So, we got it 10 hour 26 minutes. So, we got it 626 minutes. After that, we will convert into hours and minutes. So, we got it 10 hour 26 minutes. Now, what we have to see? Montreal is situated at the west of India, western side. Therefore, time difference will be detected. Clear? Because they are behind. So, we will detect the time. So 17.30, that is 24 hour clock, right from it, we will subtract the 10.26 and we will get 7.04 a.m. So this is the answer. So this is the way we will solve the another question also. In this question, we can see both the city, city A and city B. Both are situated in the same hemisphere. Clear? So in that situation, what we have to do? We have to subtract. Subtract. Clear? If both, uh, if uh, these two cities are situated in two different hemispheres, we will add. If they are in the same hemisphere, we will just subtract. So 92 degree minus 73 degree, we got 19 degree. And the next step is the time difference. The same way, there is no difference. The same as we were doing in the previous question. 
that uh, the time difference between two longitude is four minutes so 19 is 19 into 4 and we got 76 minute we will just convert into hours and minute so one hour 16 minute clear and after that we have to see whether it is ahead or behind now in this we will just see after the prime meridian, prime meridian it start 1 2 3 4 5 okay so of course city a will come after at the eastern side as city a is to the eastern side of city b therefore time difference will be added because this is prime meridian 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so 73 and 92 clear 73 and 92 naturally it uh, city a is, situa is situated at the eastern side of the city uh, of b and that's the reason we will add it clear so 22 30 that is the 24 hours and plus that is a one hour 16 uh, uh, 16 minutes that we will add and we will get 11 46 p clear so this is the answer now the third question is different from the first two uh, just see calculate the longitudes of a place where the local time is 6 a.m when the time is 9 a.m. at New Delhi on 77 degree east. So here what we have, we have a timing of both the cities, right? But we have to find out the longitude of the given city, clear? So in that, what will be our first step? The first step is the time difference first we have to in the previous question we were finding out the longitude difference here we have to find it out the time difference so time difference of course 9 9 uh, 9 minus 6 so 3 hour difference are there converted into minutes 180 minutes as we know that number of longitude the time difference between two uh, longitude is 4 so we will sub divide by 4 we will get 45 longitudes are there in between clear now this 45 degree longitude as the time shows that the time of given city is behind the time of delhi so it is situated at the western side of delhi then we will detect right so 77 it, it, it is a, it is at the western side so we will detect from 77 so 77 minus 45 we got it 32 it means the given city is situated at the 32 degree longitude now as we have completed our chapter so today we will just give you a general introduction how to fill your map as we know that in question paper in part one second question uh, a question will be uh, to fill the map clear so there is a small inst instruction or how to fill and same time today in the description box you will get the syllabus of map right for class 9 what all things you have to prepare and how to fill that we are discussing now so few guidelines you have to follow while you fill the map okay uh, first, it should be neat and precise, first one. And to, uh, to labeling it, use only pencil. Okay, you cannot use pen at all. Only pencil uh, has to be used on the map. Then you can use pencil colors, but no sketch pen or uh, wax color or crayons. You cannot. Only the wooden pencil color. Then uh, put a arrow and label it neatly. So instead of writing the answer here itself, for example, if it is a Tibetan plateau, instead of writing here, make a arrow, okay? put question number, then write the answer. Clear. I have seen few of the children are only putting the numbers, right? That is not the correct way. You have to put the question number, then the answer, right? By drawing a straight line. The same way here, the, the you can see I have drawn the line, then I have written the name. So this is the proper method to labeling it. Clear? Uh, here we will just see few rules. 
uh, for example, if you have to fill the mountain, you cannot write Andes mountain in such a way. First, you have to draw such kind of with the brown color, write such kind of a thick line and then draw a line, straight line with arrow and write question number. Then you write the name of mountain. Okay, Andes mountain. If it is a river, then you have to highlight because the map which you are going to get, rivers will be marked. Clear? But you have to highlight the river which is asked in the question paper. So, I have highlighted the Nile River, drawn the arrow, put the question number. Then, before writing the name of a river, you have to write the capital R dot then name of the river. Clear? So, this, this rule has to be followed. Okay? After that, area. Few of the, for uh, area if they are asking, this is the green part which I have shown you. It is an equatorial region. So, this whole area has to be colored. You cannot write there equatorial region. It will not be accepted. You have to show the area. Okay? So, these all green part is equatorial region and you have to make a index box. Then you write question number and write equatorial region. So, it is understood the whole green part on the map is equatorial region or part of the equatorial mm -hmm. region. Tibet also area. Take it? Area. So, area has to be shown, colored it. You can make it with the pencil. Some symbol you can draw it and that is also enough. Okay. Then Gulf of Maglin. No need to any symbol or it. Just directly you put the arrow and you can write. Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean. Nothing to mention there. You, have, you can write directly the name with the question number. No arrow and all. Okay. These are few uh, tips to fill the map in a proper way. Clear? Before conclude the class, just recap that what we have studied today. Uh, today we have studied the definition of great circle and small circle. After that, the few characteristics of a great circle. Then uh, what are the uses of great circles? And uh, after that, we have studied uh, how to solve the numerical uh, to calculate the time and to calculate the longitude clear along with this video i have uploaded uh, all the exercises which is given at the back side okay at the end of the end of the chapter whatever exercises are there i have uploaded it clear try to sort it out and uh, because uh, now i am uploading the click the photos uh, of each and every page of this chapter so you will get the answer from it so here we conclude our today's class don't forget to upload the uh, assignment from the description box okay bye take care